What's up guys, I am Daisho, and I am here bringing you gameplay commentary Call of Duty Black Ops. This game is a domination game on firing range, and I'm using the Spectre this game. And I was, I started using the Spectre on the, not really the request of a subscriber, but basically somebody said that when I was saying that the MPL and the AK-74U were the only good submachine guns, they were like, no, Spectre's really good, man. And... So I decided to try it out, and I do have to agree that I kind of like the Spectre. The only thing that I really don't like about it is the iron sights, and I can't use it. It's to the point where I can't use the gun unless I have a sight on it, but when I got the sight on it, it's actually a really good gun. But anyway, I don't really want to talk much about the gameplay. I'm using, I think, oh, I'll talk a little bit more, but I'm using Spy Plane Napalm and Mortar Team, and I'm kind of just showing you guys how Mortar Team is could be useful and how napalm is definitely a really good streak, uh, kill streak for objective based games because you can see I just get a lot of kills with him I think I do a little bit I don't know if I do any defending or a, yeah I don't think I do any defending with my kill streaks but I kinda I get a bunch of kills with them and it's pretty cool so I wanted to talk about perks the ones that I normally use so first I wanted to say that I just started my fourth prestige a couple days ago and I kinda made it my quest to get all the pro perks before I got to level 49 and I already have um what do I have scavenger that was that was definitely the easiest one to get I have sleight of hand warlord and I almost have steady aim I think and I also have tactical mask pro that was such a bitch to get I don't know why they made it so hard I'm definitely missing a couple I also hmm whatever no big deal either way the my favorite perk setups are, in general, Sleight of Hand Pro, Hardline Pro, and Hacker Pro. And those are those are the killstreaks that I like to run. Obviously, different setups call for different um, perks and stuff, but once in a while, I'll run something else. And, <laughs> wow, I just completely messed up. But anyway, Flak Jacket Pro is really, and uh, not Pro, but just Flak Jacket is really useful. Sometimes I decide to go with it for li for a couple of like a gaming session or whatever and sometimes I use ghost but in general I like to run hardline I just started using scavenger and I really like that especially with scavenger pro because then you can get your tactical grenades back and they're pretty useful sometimes especially if you've got concussions because then you can just keep tossing concussions and there was one game where I was playing and I had semtex and frags on and I was uh, not <laughs> you can't get semtex and frags I had semtex and crossbow and that was actually pretty useful because I just kept replenishing all my shit with my scavenger and I actually got a bunch of kills without people having any chance to kill me so it was a pretty useful com combination let's let's try to talk all right guys but anyway the only I mean I'm the red perks in my opinion are the strongest all of them are good except for scout scout is obviously terrible I don't know I mean the only reason you would use it is if you're sniping obviously but I don't know I don't really know what Scout Pro does but what I wanted to say is how much I love the awesomeness of all the pro perks that's what I have written down here but basically the pro perks in this game are in general really good except for stuff like Flak Jacket Pro and I really enjoy that I it makes it so that there's actually an advantage to use a perk for a long time I just wish that they kind of balanced it out and made it about even because it's really easy to get something like sleight of hand but steady aim is just annoying and you have to commit your game to doing that um, tactical mask. I think they should all be 10 or maybe like 20 concussion, 20 flashbangs and 10 nova gas because nova gas kills are really hard to get. I tried all game types, everything and I, it was just really hard for me to get. I mean it's just it's not a useful <laughs> I mean maybe it's useful in objective games to take objectives but it's not gonna get you kills and there was one more thing that I wanted to mention about the patches that I forgot to mention so some things that I wanted to see get fixed that aren't actually in the game is different contracts I mean I get the same contracts every day and it's like HK21 brutality HK21 massacre are always or something like that I don't know the one where you have to get 50 and 75 kills with the HK-21. I'm never going to do that. I hate the gun. And I want to be able to use my Spectre. I want to be able to... I want the contracts to encourage me to use all the different guns instead of just some of them. And it's kind of frustrating, I guess, that they're all just doing the same thing. But the other thing that I wanted was... Like, you know how uh, when you're uh, searching for a lobby or whatever... 
and you're fixing your classes and then all of a sudden you just take off like an attachment and you're about to put another one on and then all of a sudden you just jump into a, a lobby and then there's three seconds left and then you try to rush all the way down but it's too far I don't know why it takes you out of the create a class screen every single time you join a new lobby just keep you on the create a class, create a class screen and give you a little notification that you join the lobby just make a noise or something like that because that's just really annoying so, <laughs> wow, I'm really bad at these transitions. It's kind of just like, yeah, by the way, I'm going to talk about this, uh, and now I'm going to talk about that. So, now I'm going to talk about uh, host advantage. So, I am at college, and in college, there's a lot of people around, obviously, and I'm living in a dorm, so uh, there's got to be a lot of internet, and really good internet, so the wired internet here is just amazing and somehow I always manage to pull host and when I say always I mean like 99% of the time the game goes to host migration I end up getting host and that's why these uh, theater mode things aren't so messed up like you know how when you see somebody else's gameplay they're always shooting behind them it's because almost all the games that I do well in um, I'm getting host and it's just it really helps your game <laughs> um, I have to admit it's kinda cheap but you gotta work with what you get, right? I mean, I'm not gonna purposefully not try to get host or whatever. <laughs> like, there's nothing I can even do about that. It's like playing with bad players. There's really... It's just whatever the game gives you. So, um, it's definitely helped my KD. My KD in Modern Warfare 2 was about 1.2, and now it's at, like, 1.57. And when I say like, I mean it's exactly because I've been looking at it, like, every five minutes. I'm really stat-oriented. Like, statistics really... Uh, makes sense to me. I mean, they don't make sense to me. It's just they really interest me. So, um, I I follow my KD and my win loss all the time. My win loss is like 1.84. I think it was 1.87 earlier today, but I did really really poorly and it went down all the way to 1.81. And then I won a bunch of TDMs and free frawls, so it went back up to 1.84 or something like that. But anyway, um, my KD in Modern Warfare 2, while obviously it was bad because it started at like 0.5 when I got decent at the game, but still, it only managed to get up to 1.2, and this game it's like 1.57, and I'm not even that good in this game. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel like I was better at Modern Warfare 2, or just, uh, just about as good, I guess. But either way, um, my KD's just not, I mean, it's not really going up that much, it was... At one point, my win-loss and my KD were 1.47, but my win-loss is definitely going up way faster than my KD, so I guess that's just an um, indicator that I've become a better player, because um, both both of them are going up, my win-loss and my uh, KD, and there's really... Oh, and obviously the KD would go up slower because you get a lot more kills than you play games, and it's easier to impact that. But anyway... Um, hmm, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, yeah. No, I still don't remember. But, <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about squirrels. So, squirrels are uh, really, really cute little creatures. I, I don't know why. Some people don't think that they're as cute as I do, but they're just, like, the best squirrels ever. I mean, the best creatures ever. But, anyway, uh, in Maryland, they have these black squirrels. I've never seen them in New Jersey, so uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um different colored squirrels but what I wanted to say is that there was one time where I was on my uh, front lawn I was just walking around and then all of a sudden I saw I see this ridiculous chase between like three squirrels and they were like jumping from tree to tree running all around like fighting each other and shit and then all of a sudden they just they all like in unison just stop and then like take two steps one way look around two steps a different way they just had no idea what the fuck was going on so while squirrels are probably pretty good fighters and it w they would make a really interesting battle if you like put them in a ring or something they're not very intelligent they would they would just like completely forget about it and it, it just would not be good for anyone so Michael Vick do not try squirrel fighting next you won't succeed <laughs> anyway this game is pretty good I get a lot of defense in here as you can see, I mean, as you guys have been able to see, that was a pretty cool grenade. I kind of saw the guy around the or I knew he was around the corner. I saw him on the radar, and I just threw the grenade in hopes that he would run around, and in the end, he did. But, I mean, this game, I kind of liked it. The final score is 48 and 11, and even though I don't, 
I mean, it's not 48 and 11 isn't the best score. I still think that it's a really, really good game, and I had no like once I got the game, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely uploading this game. Uh, sorry, it gets a little dark there. I stop uh, whatever that happens when I don't press anything for a while. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Have a nice day. Bye.